Today's video, we're gonna be talking about storage for wedding filmmakers. Particularly, we're gonna be talking about a NAS and why every wedding filmmaker needs a NAS. We've all seen this post. This one. It's a sad day to lose some footage, but I think we've all been there. I feel your pain. The truth though is, if you're in wedding filmmaking, you're dealing with lots and lots and lots of files, and you really can't afford to mess around with storage. In particular, you need data redundancy. And one of the best ways to get data redundancy is to get a RAID, but an even better way to get data redundancy is to get a RAID that also attaches to the internet. This is called a NAS, or Network Attached Storage. One of the number one reasons you get one is so you can connect to it anywhere in your network. It allows teams to work together and collaborate. But I think there's a really, 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 really compelling reason that a lot of people don't really think about, which is the ability to back up your files automatically on a schedule or with rules to the cloud. So we're gonna talk about that in today's video. But before we do that, I wanna show you our setup here at the studio. So let's check it out. Is this a NAS? So what you do to make a NAS, these are three different hard drives. So we'll just be kind of like, we connect them together. And now this is a two terabyte NAS. What a lot of people don't know is if you just, this one is old school, but I can maybe just stick it in there. You know, it's storage. Storage 101. Okay, so the heart of any NAS system, at least one, come on. <laughs> What's up guys? Thanks. Thanks. I had no idea what was going You'll on. just pass already. You don't just stand there. Go, go. Do not let me see those trash bags on that camera. <sighs> um, okay, before I was so rudely interrupted, um, the heart of any editing NAS um, is gonna be the network. Um, well, no, the heart of any NAS is gonna be the NAS. So we wanna show you the NAS and we wanted to also show you the network and kind of how we set that up. So we'll check that out. What are you editing right there? Uh, BTS. Looks like Bobby some content Bobby. for Wedding Film School. Let's go. Yeah, it's coming soon. But anyway, this is our network. You know, I'm a little actually embarrassed about how this looks. Not the nicest. This is old, this doesn't work at all, but we have two functional NASs that we use a lot. We have this QNAP TVS X72XT, Intel 8th generation processor, Thunderbolt. Um, this is one of them, and this is hooked up to 10G. And then down here, we have the TVS H1688. This is our other NAS hooked into this QNAP 10G switch. Um, we got two wireless networks in our office, this Netgear right here, and then this right here, which is a 10G. So this is the thing. <clears throat> I know you don't need 10G for Wi-Fi, but we wanted to make sure like 100% positive, every single point in our chain was gonna be high bandwidth. We got 80 terabytes in there, and I think 60 terabytes in here, except this one has um, 50 functional, right? Yeah, because I think this one's set up as a RAID 5. This is set up as a RAID 0, so all the storage is functional. And so here's the deal. We have all this stuff in our studio because we want to be able to edit off our NAS. We want to be able to easily transfer files. And honestly, like it's just a really integral part of our workflow. We're a studio. We have multiple people working. So we need to be able to transfer files without a lot of hullabaloo. Even if you don't want to edit off of it, I think every single wedding filmmaker would benefit from having this one feature that I think is a little underappreciated about a NAS. So I want to show you guys how we use our NAS to automatically upload and automatically download from the cloud, create redundancy. I think the peace of mind alone is worth getting a NAS, so let's check it out. So NAS has a lot of amazing benefits from collaborating with people in your studio or on the cloud, um, all the way to just having a great on-site backup. But before we get into the benefits a little more, and I think the one benefit, the number one reason you should have a NAS as a wedding filmmaker, I'd like to kind of talk a little bit about maybe some of the things that you need to do to set your studio up to make the NAS most useful. First of all, when you set up a NAS, you have to make sure that your data chain has bandwidth all the way through it. What do I mean by that? Well, you basically need to make sure that every point in your data chain in your studio is just as fast as the last point. There's no point in getting a NAS that has 10G speed and then connect to the NAS via Wi-Fi. You're just not gonna have great performance. You need every part of the data chain from the NAS to the switch all the way to the network port on your computer to be the same speed. I recommend making sure that your NAS has a 10G ethernet port, that you have a 10G switch if you're not connecting directly to the NAS, and that your computer has 10G ethernet ports as well. Keep in mind, many computers do not have 10G ethernet ports, so you definitely need to check that out. But as long as your computer has Thunderbolt 3 or above, you can actually get 
10G Ethernet adapters and docks that will allow you to have a 10G port connected to your computer. If you have a NAS that doesn't have a 10G Ethernet port, the good news is most NASs will allow you to actually upgrade after you buy it with a little 10G card that you install into the NAS. Any solid NAS will give you a range of different modern RAID configurations that will allow you to set it up any way that works for you, from having tons of parity to tons of speed. Maybe I should make a video about that, huh? I can already see it now. Hey guys, welcome to my video where I'm gonna tell you guys about what RAID configuration is best for wedding filmmakers. All I'll say now about RAID configuration is that um, the RAID configuration you set up will have a very, very strong determination on what the RAID is best for. So if you set your NAS up in RAID 0, it's going to be really, really fast and super great for editing, but not have the most parity. A lot of other RAID configurations might offer maybe a little bit more safety and parity, but less speed. It really depends on how you want to use this NAS and what you want to use it for, what RAID configuration you choose. One little final thing I would say about um, setting up your NAS and optimizing it for performance in wedding filmmaking is it really does matter the processing power on the NAS you buy. I've learned the hard way, by the way. I've bought underpowered NASs before. I'm not an expert on this. What I tell people, though, is if you can splurge and buy a more powerful NAS, Think about it like buying a more powerful computer, and that's really the way to look at a NAS. A NAS isn't just a hard drive, it's a computer. It has its own operating system and everything. And so the more powerful the computer, the better the performance. And the same goes for a NAS. So if you're not in a huge rush, and maybe you don't even plan on editing off of this thing hardly at all, you just wanna be able to put something on your NAS and have it upload to the cloud overnight on your schedule, maybe you can get away with a cheaper NAS, maybe even less redundancy. The point here is I think getting three levels of redundancy and having a system where it automatically backs it up to the cloud, where it's not up to human error, I think is really, really important. So even if you don't get the most performant NAS, maybe it doesn't have all the features that you might want. I think trying to find a way to get a NAS in your studio is really, really, really beneficial and is a game changer for you if you're a wedding filmmaker. I wanna show you how we do it in our studio and maybe a way that you can use a NAS to really, really solidify your data redundancy as a wedding filmmaker. First, open up the NAS, however you do that with whatever NAS you have and go into the operating system and click on the apps area. Make sure you have an app that's designed to run backups for you. Many of them in their stores will have a range of apps. In our case, we're using hybrid backup sync. You can go into the operating system and set up a job inside your backup app to upload any folder on the NAS to a folder on your cloud-based system, like Google Drive or Dropbox. The cool thing is you can set up all kinds of rules. You can set up redundancy rules. You can set up schedules. You can even set up fancy rules where if there's a file with the same name, it will create either two versions of it or overwrite the file. You can choose to overwrite the local file or the cloud-based file. I mean, the level of flexibility here is pretty amazing and I think there's something for every workflow once you get into something like this. Pretty much, you can set it up any way you want. What's most important is that you just get it done. You just gotta set up some kind of backup system and I just don't think it's practical for most wedding filmmakers to be doing this manually. I'm gonna post in the link a few of the NASs I would recommend if you're serious about having the ability to Maybe do a little editing, but mainly have um, fast transfer speeds and solid upload speeds to the cloud. The other thing to consider when you're adding a NAS to your studio is just the cost of the hard drives themselves. Typically, I just recommend people get high quality server rated hard drives, something like Western Digital Red or something like that. I want performance out of my NAS. I want to be able to edit off of. So we do 7200 and we have a little bit of redundancy in our drives in case a drive fails. So I'm not so concerned with having the longest lasting drives. I'm more interested in having the balance of long lasting and performance. In general, though, the drives you pick matter and I wouldn't just go to Best Buy. I would make sure they're rated for many, many hours of continuous operation like server or NAS rated drives. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions about how to set your NAS up, don't ask in the comments because I'm not going to help you do that. Um, just, you know, we'll make another video at another point. But in general, guys, I really encourage you get a NAS, set it up to back it up to the cloud. Rest easy. Hopefully you guys love that video. Like, subscribe, do YouTube stuff. Have a great day.